Hi everyone. Welcome to our virtual story time here at Michigan City Public Library. My name is Mr. Dave and joining me today is Miss Dana. Hi everyone. I'm Miss Dana. So before we start the stories today, I thought we could shake our hands up. Shake our hands up. Wiggle your fingers around. Shake them out to the side. Shake them out in front of you. Okay, is everybody ready? I have 10 little fingers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can shut them tight. I can open them wide. I can put them together. I can make them hide. I can make them fly high. I can make them fly low. I can fold them like this and hold them just so. Right, good job everybody. Smiley Shark by Ruth Galloway, with permission by Little Tiger Press. Far away in a deep rolling ocean lives Smiley Shark, the smiliest and sunniest, the friendliest and funniest, the biggest and toothiest of all the fish. Every day, Smiley Shark watched the beautiful fish that dipped and dived and jiggled and jived and darted and dashed with a splash and a splash. Smiley Shark longed to dip and dive with them, but whenever he smiled at the other fish, they swam away. Will you play with me? he asked Angelfish. Angelfish shivered and shook, then raced away as fast as she could swim. Swoosh! Pufferfish was blowing bubbles. <laughs> that looks fun, laughed Smiley Shark. But Pufferfish blew himself up into a big spiky ball and pricked poor Smiley Shark on the nose. Ouch! Starfish was twirling and whirling, dancing and prancing. <laughs> what fun, giggled Smiley Shark. But Starfish cartwheeled off across the ocean floor as far away as she could go. Swirl. Smiley Shark flashed his grin at Jellyfish. <gasps> and Octopus. Yikes. And Catfish. <sighs> Off they swam as far from Smiley Shark as they could get. Everyone is scared of my big white teeth, wailed Smiley Shark. He didn't feel much like smiling anymore. Splish, splash. Twisting and turning, splashing and churning, the fish danced faster than ever. Smiley Shark watched from a distance, but something was wrong. The fish were swimming towards a... Trap! Help! cried the fish. Please help us, Smiley Shark. Smiley Shark swam round and round the fisherman's net. What could he do? How could he help? The only thing Smiley Shark could do was... Smile! Arr! screamed the fisherman, dropping his heavy net into the waves. I'm off! he cried. Hurrah! cheered the fish. We're safe. Thank you, Smiley Shark. Now far away, in the deep rolling ocean, Smiley Shark and his friends can be seen, dipping and diving, darting and dashing, splashing and splashing, and smiling. Smiley Shark by Ruth Galloway
Shark Dog by Ged Adamson. Read with permission from Harper Collins. My dad is no ordinary dad. He's a famous explorer who travels the world. Sometimes I get to tag along. On one trip, when we were busy exploring, we found beautiful butterflies and strange plants, tortoises as big as cars, and colorful birds in huge trees. And yet, on that trip, I had a strange feeling I was being followed. As we sailed home, I thought I heard a loud noise, but I was too tired to investigate. Later that night, something woke me from a deep, peaceful sleep. Something slobbery. I turned on the light and saw the strangest creature, half dog and half shark. He seemed friendly enough, so Dad said I could keep him. Back on land, Shark Dog made himself right at home, and he began to do his own exploring. It didn't exactly go as planned. And at the park, we didn't stay long. Shark Dog was no ordinary pet. Sometimes when he did dog things, he was more like a shark. And sometimes when he did shark things, he was more like a dog. Either way, Shark Dog was a fun friend to have around, on land and underwater. We did everything together. Sweet dreams, Shark Dog. What Shark Dog loved most was a trip to the beach. It was important to keep an eye on him at all times because... Shark! When people spot a fin sticking out of the water, they do get a bit worried. Being near water always made Shark Dog super excited. One time, Shark Dog was more excited than I'd ever seen him. He'd spotted another Shark Dog. He couldn't contain his joy. But it wasn't another Shark Dog. And for the first time, my Shark Dog was sad. He was still sad that evening. He was even sadder the next day. And the day after that. Oh no, I said to my dad. I bet Shark Dog is thinking about his home. Maybe it's time we took him back, said Dad. So we did. Shark Dog got the most wonderful welcome. My dad even took his friends out for a ride. It was a happy day. That night, the shark dog sang us a beautiful song in the moonlight. The next morning, it was hard to say goodbye, but I told shark dog it was time to go. Suddenly, shark dog began to follow our boat. Then, with one enormous leap, he was back on board. I think shark dog made his mind up, said dad. It looks like you're his home now. And that was just fine with me. The end. Shark Dog by Ged Adamson. Be sure to visit the library to pick up this week's take home story time craft.